All right, welcome back, everybody. Season seven. We are here with season seven, episode one. I'm so excited. We're diving back in, and uh, it's this is episode it's be awesome. is Dragonstone. Dragonstone. <sighs> I wonder what yes. that's about. Well, uh, they have said it before, and, and you'll see it again in the map. Uh, that is a location for one, but as with you know Game of Thrones, there can always be more than one meeting. So keep your eye well, out. Sure, so of you course, of course. Dragonstone. Well, it'll probably be a little retail store that they go to to, you know. Man, I would totally shop at things. Dragonstone. It sounds like a great little place, like in the middle of nowhere, right? <laughs> oh, we're gonna go right? to Dragonstone and get some ice cream. <laughs> uh, well, let's dive on in to season seven, episode one. Wait, I thought he's dead. You're wondering why I brought you all here. After all, we just had a feast. Since when does old Walter give us two feasts in a single fortnight? Well, it's no good being Lord of the Riverlands if you can't celebrate with your family. That's what I say. Stand together. Oh, he's not drinking. He's poisoning them. Not you. I'm not wasting good wine on a damn woman. Maybe I'm not the most pleasant man. I'll admit it, but I'm proud of you lot. <laughs> What's his You're reason for poisoning them? The men who helped me slaughter the Starks at the Red Wedding. Yes. Yes. Cheer. Brave men, all of you, butchered a woman pregnant with her. Oh, it's Aria. Cut the throat. <laughs> I didn't know they could do the voice. Yeah, that seems a bit different. After inviting them into your home. But you didn't slaughter every one of the Starks. No, no. That was your mistake. You should have ripped them all out, root and stem. Yeah, that's the new one, the voice. Yeah. Little. Leave one wolf alive, and the sheep are never. Also, safe. he's quite a bit taller than her. Yeah. When people ask you what happened here, tell them the North remembers. Tell them winter came for House Frey. <laughs> and there you can you go. You can see who it is now. We already knew who it was. We knew. But now, um, you but it's confirm. a very cool way because they said last season. You remember when Winterfell was deciding whether they were going to fight and all of that. Um, they said that, you know, he brings the storm. Yeah. Um, he is the storm, you know, and, uh... That's too bad. He was such a nice guy. Yeah. A nice little giant, as they say. Well, they got him there. Or she got him there. Mira Reed. Daughter of Howland Reed. This is Brandon Stark, son of Ned Stark. Now do I He's know about to true. pass out. You were at the fist of the first men. Check his driver's license. Right. Like everybody else. <laughs> You've seen the army of the dead. You've seen the Night King. He's coming for us. To scour their records for any mention of yeah, Dragonglass. Dragonglass kills White Walkers. It's more valuable to us now than gold. And not just the boys. We can't defend the North if only half the population is fighting. You expect me to put a spear in my granddaughter's hand? I don't plan on knitting by the fire while men fight for me. I might be small, Lord Glover, and I might be a girl, but I am every bit as much a northerner as you. Indeed you are, my lady. No one is going to... I don't need your permission <laughs> like to defend the North. I do too. She's awesome. 
We'll begin training every man, woman, boy, and girl on Bear Island. She just got a new show too. Oh, she did. Mm -hmm. While we're preparing for attack, we need to shore up our defenses. But if we're going to survive this winter together, you want us to man the castles for you? Aye. Last time we saw the Night King was at Hardhome. The closest castle to Hardhome is Eastwatch by the sea. And that's where I'll go. Looks like we're the Night King. How great is that? <laughs> The Umbers and the Car Starks have fought beside the Starks for centuries. They've kept faith for generation after generation. And then they broke faith. Yeah. You're not going to strip these families of their ancestral homes because of the crimes of a few reckless sons. So there's no, no there's Littlefinger no scheming. No reward for loyalty. Right? Well, yep. I was Lord Commander of the Night's Watch. He's got a good I point. I executed men who betrayed me. I executed men who refused to follow orders. My father always said, the man who passes point. the sentence should swing the sword, and I have tried to live by those words. But I will not punish a son for his father's sins, and I will not take a family home away from a family it has belonged to for centuries. That is my decision, and my decision is fine. Ned Umar. Mm -hmm. Alice Carstar. For centuries, our families fought side by side on the battlefield. I of the betrayers, right? Your loyalty once yes. again to House Their Stark. Their parents fought for Ramsay. Serve as our bannermen and come to our aid whenever called upon. If that's going to be his decision, then I then I suppose he did it the best that he could. I mean, realistically, me, Ned and Alex. these are the kids. Now like, they had no always. part of that. Now and, and you want these two huge families to be loyal to you forever? This is a better way to do it. Sansa doesn't agree, though. No. Oh, man, he is scheming, always. You're good at this, you know. At what? At ruling. No. You are. You are. They respect you, they really do, but you have to... Why are you laughing? What did Father used to say? Everything before the word bot is horse shit. Never said that to me. No. They no, do. never cursed in front of his girls. <laughs> because he was trying to protect us. The Raven from King's Landing, your grace. Exactly. Cersei of House Lannister, first of her name, Queen of the Andals and the First Men, protector of the Seven Kingdoms. What does she want? Come to King's Landing, bend the knee, or suffer the fate of all traitors. If you're her enemy, she'll never stop until she's destroyed you. Everyone who's ever crossed her, she's found a way to murder. You almost sound as if you admire her. I learned a great deal from her. <laughs> Daenerys Targaryen has chosen Tyrion to be her hand. Right now they're sailing across the narrow sea, hoping to take mm -hmm. back her father's throne. Enemies to the east, enemies to the south, and Arya Sand and her brood of. I mean, the the map is really west. pretty cool. Oh, it's really well done. Cunt, another traitor. Enemies to the north. <laughs> her brood the of Arthur, bitches. King in the, north. the sand snakes. Ah, the old cunt. Keeping the alliteration. Enemies everywhere were surrounded by traitors. You saw what happened to Walter Frey and his family. I heard. How could we ever? They're like the him? they're like right? the Kennedys of this world. <laughs> Good looking blonde and just a little bit just, just no friend of turmoil ours. follows them everywhere. You yeah, know? tragedy. Better rather. allies. We can't win this war alone. I think I listened to Father for forty years and learned nothing. <laughs> Greatest Amada Westeros has ever seen. What do you want in return? I want <laughs> to grow up and marry the most beautiful woman in the world. Well, she's buying into it. She, yeah, loves, right. it. she loves what he's saying. With a thousand That's ships for sure. And two good hands. You're not trustworthy. I don't expect you to trust me outright. You need proof of my honest intentions. 
In my experience, <laughs> the surest way to a woman's heart is with a gift. <laughs> I won't return to King's Landing until I have that for you. He'll get in there. Wasn't the quietest key grab. No. No. She's a very impressive woman. What do you want, Lord Baelish? I want you to be happy. Why is he still here? She's so over him. I need his man. Oh yeah. Without the veil, Ramsay Bolton would still hold this castle. Littlefinger saved us. I don't like the look of it. For a big hard man, you scare easy. I'll tell you what doesn't scare me. Bald cocksuckers like you. You think you're fooling anyone with that top knot? <laughs> Bold hunt. The Targaryens used Dragonglass to decorate the weapons without even knowing what the first men used it for. What is it? It's a map of Dragonstone. The Targaryens built their first stronghold there when they invaded Westeros. That's Dragonglass. A mountain of it, beneath the ground. John needs to know. There it is. Westeros, Dragonstone, her old family's keep. And a mountain of dragon glass under there. Well, we'll get to it. go there's a castle for you mm -hmm. just show up and there it is there's nobody in it <laughs> well you remember the last person to own this was stannis oh so there hasn't been somebody there in a while no stannis got this basically when they overthrew the targaryens initially now she's got a home base uh-huh and ships and dragons. Baratheon heart up there. I love that like there's right there's there's the Iron Throne that everyone knows, but there's like all these Yeah, there's all these other, other throne very cool thrones. thrones. Oh absolutely. Right, what was it? The mahogany bench? over across the sea the folding chair <laughs> this one i think is really cool yeah it's really cool looking their thrones are really not all that pretty this is much prettier yeah 
It's a lot prettier. It's just um, not, not the same powerful. power. Yeah. She's come quite a, quite a ways. Now this is cool though. So she's got her map drawn. Such a cool room. Right? Love it. Dragon face, they're so cool. And then just like looking out to the ocean. Man, I love it. All her memories. Yep. Shall we begin? <laughs> I love that the, that she's got a, a table that is built in the shape of Westeros, like the, mm -hmm. the full-on map like that. It's fantastic. Really cool. Oh, man. Well, that is season seven, episode one, uh, Dragonstone. What'd you think? Oh, it's awesome. They're setting it up really amazingly. I'm really excited to see sort of where she goes. Obviously, she's sort of the... I don't know if she's the person of this season, but... She's definitely one of the main storylines that they're really going to be pushing out. Um, oh, yeah. I mean, she's really been trying now for yeah. six seasons to get here. Well, and she's gone so freaking far. It's amazing, actually, what she's been able to do. Going multiple from multiple times a slave and multiple times a slave, multiple times, you know, she's had some help. Oh, sure. And she has dragons, but that helps a lot. <laughs> But she's got a strength of character and will and intelligence and all this stuff that is uh, is is really impressive. So she's she's really earned what she's gotten as well, and um, it is interesting to see. So the next episode coming up is Stormborn. So we'll have to see as well. She is uh, also called Daenerys Stormborn. But as with this episode, every episode could be multiple things, right? That's Dragon, true. Dragonstone the island where they land, right? Where she retakes her family home, but also yep. has all of the dragon glass we find out, which is really huge. That's really um, huge. So, I'm excited. It's a good, it was a good first season or first yeah, episode. Definitely, definitely. So I'm excited to continue on, uh, see the next one. Uh, thank you all for sticking with us and welcome to season welcome seven. Welcome to season seven. What? We're moving so fast. Uh, it's crazy. Thank you for all, all for sticking with us this far. Uh, I'm excited. It, it just, it's great. Yep. All right. Well, uh, then we'll be back next week with Stormborn. We'll see you all next see week. See you next week. What a crazy episode. That was insane. Thanks for watching with us. Um, I mean, like, crazed. Crazed. So why don't you like, subscribe, and stay notified. And if you really like us, hop on over, support us on Patreon. We would love to see you in the future. This is a Swiffer.